What's up, boxing fans? Welcome back to the channel. If you've been keeping up with the crazy news that's been shaking the boxing world, then you already know what we're about to dive into today. But if you're just tuning in, oh man, you're in for a wild ride. Today's story is filled with drama, suspense, and some jaw-dropping revelations that are leaving the entire boxing community speechless. Floyd Mayweather has finally spoken up after the feds raided Gervonta Tank Davis's house and found something that has everyone raising their eyebrows. Yes, that's right. This isn't just your regular news. The GOAT himself, Floyd Money Mayweather, has broken his silence about the situation. And what he said? Let's just say it's stirring up even more drama in an already heated situation. You're going to want to stick around for this one because Floyd's words are setting the stage for what could be one of the most talked about moments in boxing history. Now, before we get into what Floyd had to say, let's quickly recap what went down with Tank Davis and this insane raid that has everyone buzzing. Gervonta Davis, as you all know, is one of the most exciting and explosive fighters in boxing today. With an unbeaten record and a string of highlight reel knockouts, Tank has been setting the sport on fire. But recently, the headlines haven't been about his power punches or fight wins. They've been about something a lot more serious. <laughs> All right, so what, what? What's your side of this? She's trying to take my car. This is my truck. She, all my keys is placed on the on the um, on the counter. And okay. she took my car key and she tried okay. to leave with my car. The feds busted into Tank's house as part of a major investigation. And what did they find? Well, it wasn't just a few little things. According to reports, the authorities uncovered a stash of illegal drugs and, get this, a collection of unregistered firearms. Yeah, you heard that, right? This wasn't just a routine checkup or something small. The discovery was massive, and it's got the entire boxing community and the legal system buzzing. Now everybody's been waiting on pins and needles to hear what Floyd Mayweather had to say about all of this. Floyd and Tank have a complicated history to say the least. We know they used to be close, real close. Floyd was like a mentor to Tank, taking him under his wing and showing him the ropes of the boxing world. But over time, things got messy. Tension built up, rumors started flying, and eventually, they parted ways on Larimer's friendly terms. Floyd was done with Tank's constant disrespect towards him, especially when Floyd was the one who took Tank's career to the next level. Well, my thing, my thing is, I've always been there for him from day one. Um, we had a game plan, and my game plan was to help him become world champion and take things to that next level. And I've, I've always been there for him. And just over the years, you can see, I've always been positive, always said great things about him, always pushed him to be great. And, um, but over the years, it's constantly going on the internet, take a shot at Floyd, take a shot at Floyd, take a shot at Floyd. Uh, constantly be disrespectful, constantly be disrespectful. When all I ever been was respectful to try to help this fighter, um, go as far as he could possibly go. That's all I ever did. So with Tank now facing this huge scandal, everyone's been waiting to hear how Floyd would react. Well, guess what? We finally got his first words, and let's just say they are a bombshell. Floyd didn't hold back. He gave us the real deal, and in classic Floyd fashion, he made sure his point was loud and clear. So what did Floyd say? Let's break it down. Floyd's first response was, unsurprisingly, to distance himself from the whole situation. Look, I got love for all fighters, but at the end of the day, you've got to take responsibility for your actions. Ouch. That's a cold way to start, right? Floyd's basically saying, I'm not involved in this, and Tank needs to own up to what's going on. But that's not all. He didn't stop there. Floyd went on to say that he's always tried to guide Tank in the right direction 
but that tank started walking down a different path. Now, for those of you who've been keeping up with the rumors, this isn't news. The split between Floyd and Tank was public and messy, with both sides throwing shade at each other. But hearing Floyd put it out there like this, right after the raid, adds a whole new layer to the drama. Floyd said, I tried to show him the game. I gave him the blueprint to success, but you can't make someone follow it. At the end of the day, everybody's got to make their own choices. Now, is Floyd throwing shade or just speaking facts? It's hard to say, but one thing is for sure. He's making it clear that he's not taking any blame for Tank's current situation. It's the feds we're dealing with here. He's going to do everything to make sure his name doesn't get caught up in the mix. But wait, Floyd didn't stop there. He actually went deeper, talking about the lifestyle that comes with being in the spotlight and how it can pull people down. Fame is a drug, Floyd said. It's worse than anything you can get addicted to. When you're young, rich, and everybody's got your name in their mouth, it's easy to lose focus. I've seen it happen too many times. Wow. That's some real talk from Money Mayweather. But is he low-key shading Tank for getting caught up in the hype? You be the judge. Now here comes the interesting part, but this is where it gets interesting. Gervonta Davis broke the silence on having illegal firearms, and guess who it's related to? Yep, you got it, Floyd Money Mayweather. Tank said the guns were just for safety. Now you're probably wondering safety for what? Well, Tank broke it down. Gervonta Davis revealed some shocking news. Floyd Mayweather hired guys to jump him while he was out on runs. That's right, the only time Tank is unarmed is when he's out running, and Floyd took advantage of that. Mayweather spied on Tank, and even shared his whereabouts with Tank's previous opponent, Frank Martin. Can you believe it? Frank Martin was the one who spilled the beans. But Floyd didn't stop there. Oh no, he went even further. We all know Tank Davis and Floyd Mayweather worked together for a long time. If there's one guy who knows all of Tank's moves, it's gotta be Mayweather. And guess what Floyd did next? He outed all of Tank's moves to Frank Martin. That's right. Floyd gave away all of Tank's secrets, and let's just say, Jervin Tay Davis was not too happy about it. You know, he the one, you know, he the one told Frank that I was running at five o'clock, I mean, seven o'clock in the morning, Friday. He told Frank that. He was giving Frank tips and stuff like that. I seen his people's uh, drop out while I was uh, running. It's cool. It's, it's all right. I don't really think too much of it. I ain't, you're not gonna hurt me, you know what I mean? So it, it's, it's good to be with him than be cool with him because he can do some crazy stuff. He'll picture him in bad situation. Now that spices everything up. Floyd Mayweather versus Gervonta Davis. How did this begin? Let's break it down. A new deal, seven fight deal, which is music to the ears of many boxing fans. You get to see you in action for several more years. What type of names are we talking about on those seven names? Uh, whoever you name, they could be in it. If I name some fighters, can you say yes or no? Yeah. Shakur Stevenson? Yeah. Ryan Garcia? Yeah. Devin Haney? Yeah. Isak Cruz? Yeah, but there's two people I already beat already, but yeah. Errol Spence? Outside the ring. Floyd Mayweather. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. September. No. Tiafimo Lopez. Yeah. Out of all of those guys, who do you think is the most difficult opponent for you? Floyd Mayweather. So you know how Floyd says he's been there for Tank? So what about the fact he tried to get him arrested? I don't know about you guys, but that doesn't sound like helping to me. And it gets worse. Want to know why Floyd got Tank locked up behind bars? He got Tank thrown into jail because he found out Gervonta Davis was sneaking around with his ex. Last time I checked, dating someone was not a crime. Floyd is as petty as they come. <laughs> Floyd has even teamed up with Tank's biggest rival, Shakur Stevenson. That's right, Floyd and Shakur have been training side by side in the gym. With those two working together, 
you can bet they're cooking up something against Tank. If you're curious why Floyd suddenly turned against Tank, here's the scoop. Gervonta Davis recently revealed that he secured a deal even bigger than Floyd's. And we all know Floyd's ego is sky high. There's no way he's letting anyone steal his spotlight in the boxing world. Uh, what set you off that you was like, I gotta do that? A lot of people don't know that what Floyd do. Uh, he said- So you feel like it was a sub, like he was subbing you like, oh, he, like- he, that, he was going at me. Mm. He was going at me. Yeah. And I knew for sure he was going at me. That's why I went at him. There's yeah. no reason for me to go at Floyd. Yeah. That's you know? what I was thinking. Cause it's weird. I feel like y'all, y'all got, I would say love, hate, but it's been like the last interview you showed them love. This week it was whatever. But is that sometimes like, you know, is it just like big bro, little bro seeing things different or what is it to you? No, know, it just, it, Floyd don't never, he felt as though I'm about to, I'm about to, I'm at that point where as though I passed him. Mm. And I, and I'm doing it at a young age. Wait, like when Floyd was 20, uh, 29, You'll see, bro. Yeah. That deal that I'm talking about. Yeah. Oh, that's that the, deal, yeah, that's the part that's of the deal. He, he don't know about that yet. Mm. But that's bigger than his deal. Damn. Wow. And y'all <laughs> just and I'm just releasing. This is exclusive. That's, that's yeah. exclusive. Bigger than Floyd deal. Yeah. Tank no cap, nigga. That's a lot of bread. You'll see. It's okay. gonna come out. But hey, Floyd doesn't need to stress over Tank's career anymore. Tank pretty much sabotaged it himself with all the drama surrounding the raid. So much for calling out Floyd when you're the one who's about to end up behind bars. So that's all from today's video. If you enjoyed it, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and ring that bell icon so you never miss our upcoming videos. And don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments section. Stay tuned and we will catch you in the next video.